I know I look a bit different compared to my other videos and that's because my glasses broke. I've been like this for almost two weeks now and my glasses are coming in in two weeks so probably the next video I'll still look like this. It is what it is, I could still see fine. I'm like a far distance uh, you know, type of guy, like I can't see far distance. But close distance like right now, I could still record and the show must go on. So in today's video, we're talking about lost media found in 2023. I've made two parts, but you don't have to watch those two in order to understand this video. Keep in mind that I will not be talking about every single piece of lost media found in 2023. I only picked the most interesting ones that I'm really into. Check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok for some extra content. But let's just get straight into this video. Super Y Pilot. Super Y is a computer animated TV show that aired from 2007 to 2016, set in Storybook Village. The storyline follows a child and his friends who jump into storybooks to collect super letters when faced with problems, using them to find solutions. Originally conceived as Angela Santo Meadows Masters thesis predating Blue's Clues. The show underwent an evolution from stop motion concept to a CGI series. Initially, a pilot episode was produced for Nick Jr. in 1999, directed by Blue's Clues creator Angela Santomero and Cup of Coffee Studios in Toronto, Canada. However, the pilot titled Super Y was rejected and went through a prolonged development phase. It eventually premiered in 2007 on PBS Kids. The pilot was initially greenlit by Nick Jr., but later canceled in favor of another show, Oswald. Despite being unreleased, footage of the pilot surfaced, and on February 19th, 2021, an unused theme song for the pilot was discovered with a higher pitch. A second unused theme song was created by artist Daniel LeBlanc, who uploaded it to Pond5 after realizing the showrunners were no longer interested in the pilot. Clips from the pilot were once available on Cup of Coffee Animation's old website, but were unfortunately not archived. In May 2021, a library listing with only the audio of the pilot was found and later uploaded to YouTube on August 2nd of that same year. On January 2nd, 2023, a slideshow titled Next Generation Kids, PBS Kids, revealed a render image of the pilot displaying the main character's superhero design and a placeholder for the series logo. Another version of the image hinted at an alternate titled Super Readers to the Rescue, considered around 2006. Finally, on June 12, 2023, YouTubers The Old Washington Resident and Melody located and released a copy of the full pilot after reaching out to the NSC Film Festival, where the pilot had won an award. This discovery clarified that the audio found earlier was not used in the actual pilot, including and debunking of the theme song's inclusion. Bubble Guppies Bubble Guppies, an animated Nick Jr. series created by Robert Skoll and Johnny Belt and produced by Wild Brain Entertainment, features six fish-tailed children exploring preschool subjects with their teacher, Mr. Grouper, premiering around 2011. The show continues to be successful with ongoing episode production. Despite its triumph, the initial pilot episode faced challenges, going missing for years before its resurface. Development of the series began in 2006 at Guru Studio and Nick Digital. By January 2007, an episode titled Happy Clam Day was completed, featuring different voice actors and distinct animation compared to the final version. Initially intended for late 2000s release, only 10 episodes were produced for Viacom's mass layoffs, affecting Guru Studio and Nick employees. After the setback, Wild Brain picked up the series, making adjustments for its eventual debut on January 24th, 2011. The availability of the original pilot's plot remains unclear, leaving assumptions that it involved the guppies being separated based on information. Limited material from the pilot such as a video titled Nick Kit Uber Hot Mix Looseless Desktop .mpv .m .m4v surfaced on YouTube but was later privated and deleted in 2019. An essay reel on Vimeo contains some footage with audio of Molly talking. Until June 2023, only a small clip, a few 2D images, a screenshot, and concept art from the pilot have been found. Then on June 20th, 2023, an anonymous user named Doria 
shared a cat box link containing the full unaired pilot. The origin of the link remains unknown, and alongside the pilot, a pitched document from the original creators was also shared by the same user, Wienerville. Wienerville was a puppet show on Nickelodeon from 1993 to 1996, created by Mark Wiener. Despite getting awards and attention, it ended after two seasons due to less popularity and copyright issues. Only four episodes have aired since 1997. The show was set in the made-up town of Wienerville and had characters like Dottie, Zip, Bonnie, Sokka, Louie, and Pop. Mark Wiener, who created the show, played most characters. The puppets had a unique style where the puppeteer put their head above a small puppet body. There was a game segment called Playland where people could win a golden hot dog and get slime. Wienerville showed classic cartoons like Mr. Magoo and Popeye. The show had running jokes and sketches like using the number 1350 for everything in the Wienerville general store. Out of the 62 episodes, 24 are still missing and not yet been found, making it hard for fans to watch them. Luckily, in 2023, some episodes have been found, but this show is considered partially lost since a lot of episodes are sadly still lost media. Fish Tales Fish Tales is a 1936 animated short film featuring Porky Pig, directed by Jack King and scored by Norman Spencer. In the plot, Porky Pig goes fishing and two worms join him in his can. Porky's boat speeds up, leading to a collision with a group of men eating on a boat. As a result, the table splits in two. Porky's boat continues to speed into the water, spitting and spitting out a fish as he starts fishing. Underwater, a fish tries to catch Porky using a donut as bait. The fish captures Porky, introducing his wife and two kids. The fish attempt to cook Porky, but he escapes, concluding the film. While the black and white version of the short is available online, the colorized 1968 version was initially missing. Evidence of his existence came from a website covering redrawn cartoon shorts and screenshots. Despite airing on Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network in the 1980s, there were no known film copies or VHS recordings. On December 7th, 2017, my spleen user Chupa X found and uploaded the short on archive.org. On July 20th, 2023, Yoshi Killer 2 West from the Lost Media Wiki discovered a higher quality Cartoon Network recording of the redrawn colorized version in a massive mega folder full of Looney Tunes shorts. A Very Aggressive Vegetable A Very Aggressive Vegetable is a series of 30 second animated shorts created by Fudge Puppy. It originally aired on Nickelodeon UK in 1998 and later on Nicktoons TV in the US as reruns. The shorts featured aggressive vegetables seeking revenge on kids who insult them. Six shorts were produced titled Cucumber, Potato, Celery, Baby Corn, Zucchini, and Broccoli. Initially available on Nick.com, a glitch in the video player caused playback issues, and the pages have since been deleted. For a while, five out of the six shorts were accessible online with Zucchini being the only lost episode. Only a short clip from a Tunes from Planet Orange promo featured any footage of Zucchini. However, on August 3rd, 2023, YouTuber user The Retro Room Games uploaded the complete Zucchini short, making this whole series found media. Welcome to Pooh Corner. Welcome to Pooh Corner, a Disney Channel show premiered on April 18th, 1983, marking the same day the Disney Channel began airing. Notably, it was the first TV series featuring Winnie the Pooh. The show primarily starred costumed actors in live action, with the character Roo portrayed initially as a puppet and later by a smaller actor in costume. Although the series concluded in 1986, reruns continued until 1997. Walt Disney Home Video in the US released six volumes, each containing four episodes, and also a VHS of the educational special Too Smart for Strangers. In the UK, six episodes were released as part of a series showcasing early Disney Channel shows. Two educational specials, Pooh's Great School Bus Adventures and Too Smart for Strangers were included in the Disney Safety Hits Volume 2 DVD release. Given the limited availability of home recording devices during the show's original run, most of the 120 plus episodes were considered lost. The French dubbed version titled The Adventures of Winnie the Bear Club aired in France as early as January 1985. The French adaptation made notable changes such as depicting Rabbit and later Piglet as drawings instead of stuffed animals. The show had two narrators slash hosts during its French run. Vincent Perrot, 
and Jean Rochefort, whereas the English version had only one, which was Laurie Main. This live action Winnie the Pooh series looks incredibly creepy, which makes it pretty awesome. The show is still partially lost, since a few episodes are still lost media. However, in 2023, the episode titled Eeyore Solves a Problem was found on August 6, 2023. I've never heard of this Winnie the Pooh series before prior to me researching for the video, but man, this creepy Winnie the Pooh puppet show looks pretty awesome and what makes it cooler is that this was one of the original shows that aired when Disney Channel started. Blueprints Blue Clues Pilot Blue's Clues is a popular American animated live action children's TV show that aired on Nick Jr. from 1996 to 2006. The series follows hosts Steve Burns and later Joe as they, along with their dog Blue, search for clues and solve puzzles leading to the story's resolution. The show underwent extensive development, experimenting with ideas like Blue, initially being a cat named Mr. Orange, later changed to Mr. Blue. This led to the unaired 1994 to 1995 test pilots titled Blueprints. Contrary to a common misconception, the pilot did feature Blue, not Mr. Orange, shot either in 1994 or 1995. The pilot was initially tested with preschoolers. Despite positive reactions, changes were needed, including altering Mr. Salt's accent and Steve's shirt color from red to his iconic green stripes. The pilot remained obscure until 2006 when Nickelodeon aired a 10-year anniversary special. Short clips were shown, creating a search for the full episode online. Without success, Nickelodeon hasn't fully released it, citing differences from the series. In October 2020, a previously unseen screenshot surfaced on Nick Jr.'s Twitter account, indicating Nickelodeon's possession of a copy. Co-creator Angela C. Santomero posted a picture in January 2021 from the pilot's taping, mentioning she has a copy, but its release is uncertain. For the show's 25th anniversary in September 2021, Nick Jr.'s Twitter account uploaded a video about the pilot, featuring never-before-seen clips. Some differences were noted, such as the first clue being orange, with two paw prints, and the absence of the thinking chair on the notebook's cover. On September 9th of 2023, an anonymous user has found the full pilot episode of Blue's Clues. Pokemon the Movie 2000 Pokemon the Movie 2000 Adventure was an online game developed by Cyber World International Corporation as a tie-in to Pokemon the Movie 2000. It utilized Cyber World's Cuborg technology for 2.5D environments in a specialized browser. According to Neil Marshall, a programmer and technical director, the game was available for a month before being removed. One file existed as late as 2003, and the game's front page was accessible until 2009, with implications of its presence until 2011 or 2012. Gameplay involved setting a name, choosing a Pokemon team, and selecting difficulty. Players navigated a 2.5D environment with web pages for further interactions. The objective was to travel to the three islands guarded by legendary birds, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno, retrieving an ancient sphere from each Pokemon. Players overcame barriers, interacted with Pokemon and Pokeballs, and answered trivia questions at shrines. Once all spheres were collected, a celebration at Articuno's island occurred, with players receiving a certificate. Nintendo approved the game initially, assuming simplicity. When they discovered it was a 3D Pokemon game, they ordered its removal four weeks after launch. The game remained technically online for a few more years. Warner Bros. closed the game domain, leaving HTML files, sprites, and seven levels. The game's assets likely exist on users' computers who downloaded them during play. Attempts to obtain a complete copy from the developer were unsuccessful. On May 16th, 2023, an interview with Marshall and developer Eddie Rumsky was released, shedding light on the game's development. A more complete version of the game was discovered on a CD, restored by user Rufus10 and Doom Tay. Then they uploaded it to the Internet Archive on September 17, 2023. Gibby Pilot Episode Gibby was a proposed spin-off 
of the popular Nickelodeon sitcom iCarly. Centered on the character Gibby, the pilot episode follows Gibby's misadventures after his pet weasel bites his teacher, leading him to detention. To avoid punishment, he strikes a deal to work in the school cafeteria. Gibby then befriends a group of bullying victims and embarks on an adventure at the Bixby Rec Center, where he faces off against burglars who take him hostage. After iCarly concluded in 2012, creator Dan Schneider, who is an extreme creep, and you should watch my last video to learn more about that creep. He conceived two spin-offs, Sam and Cat and Gibby. While both had pilot shorts, only Sam and Cat received approval for production, leaving the Gibby pilot unreleased. Over the years, limited images and script details surfaced online. In 2019, Dan Warp shows shared a script description and pages. In 2020, a Twitter user claimed to own the script and sold it to another user who shared it publicly. The script matched details previously shared by Dan Warp shows. In 2022, Quentin Reviews posted screen grabs from the Gibby pilot, stating they were sent by a subscriber whose mom worked on the show. Additional information was shared in a video titled The Scandal of Sam and Cat. On October 6, 2023, YouTuber Media Garage uploaded the full pilot to YouTube, but it was later taken down due to copyright concerns. However, the pilot was archived by various individuals and shared across social media and file sharing platforms, marking its discovery, making the Gibby pilot episode found media. Yo Gabba Gabba Pilot 2023 is for sure the year of lost pilot episodes. Yo Gabba Gabba was a live action puppet musical series aired on Nick Jr. from 2007 to 2015. DJ Lance Rock and five costume characters, Muno, Plex, Fufa, Cody and Brody came to life in a vibrant landscape engaging in segments and musical numbers. In 2006, the series had two pilots. Characters except Brody had slight design variations. Fufa had a bulkier costume, Plex had a blue antenna, Muno had sharper teeth, and Toadie had glossier eyes. Julius the Monkey appeared in one pilot, short story, dancing with characters but was absent in the final show. A low budget test demo from the early 2000s featured characters from the Aquabats and an unnamed gray robot. One pilot, short story or show number one, was found on a promotional DVD and uploaded to Vimeo in December 2020. The other pilot, show number two or play, surfaced on YouTube in October of 2023, shared by user Yo Gabba Guru, obtained from Chris Bobbin, who worked on La La Doodle segment and the show's first season. It's funny on how most the pilot episode looks completely different compared to the final product, just like what we saw with the Blue's Clues pilot, but for some reason with the Yo Gabba Gabba pilot, the pilot episode kind of looks like an ordinary episode of a Yo Gabba Gabba show. So nothing much changed really. Shrek 1995 Test Animation Shrek, a computer animated film released in 2001 and directed by Andrew Adamson and Vicky Jensen, originated from a production that dates back around 1995. Originally, Chris Farley was casted as Shrek, leading to the creation of an animation test by DreamWorks featuring an early version of the iconic character. In the pilot, Shrek makes a memorable entrance into a gated city at night while singing James Brown's I Got You I Feel Good. He encounters a mugger tied to a rope, engages in playful antics, and ultimately sends the mugger soaring into the night sky. Limited information was available about this early animation test until April 2017 when a YouTuber uploaded a storyboard version. In September 2017, an updated version was shared featuring missing voice lines provided by the uploader. The existence of storyboards suggests that an actual animation may be stored in the DreamWorks archives or in the possession of a collector. A significant discovery occurred on July 30th, 2022 when a sped up HD clip of the tape was found on a demo reel from a former DreamWorks animator's pre-production stage of Shrek from 1996 to 1998. The clip, partially covered by another film and lacking audio, was later slowed down and zoomed in for better visibility. Further snippets of the test featuring Shrek and the Mugger without original audio were uploaded by YouTuber user The Secret Life of Aliens on August 14th, 
2022. Additionally, on August 17th, 2022, a video on the Hessel Studios website showcased early models for Shrek and the Mugger. Though their use in the final test remains unknown, the culmination of these discoveries took place on November 23rd, 2023, when the full test, completed with audio, was uploaded to YouTube by the test's production designer, Barry Jackson, operating under the Zoom art studio on YouTube. Believe it or not, there's a lot of Shrek Lost media, and the early 90s test footage is one of the holy grails for Shrek Lost media. And luckily in 2023, this test footage has finally been found. However, we still have a lot of Shrek Lost media that needs to be found, but the holy grail has been found. And that is the end of Lost Media Found in 2023. Keep in mind that this is part three and I already talked about more Lost Media Found in 2023 in my previous two other videos. Keep in mind that I did not talk about every single piece of Lost Media Found in 2023 just because a lot of it is uh, kind of boring and small and not really that iconic. I mainly like to cover the more iconic pieces of Lost Media that were found in this year, such as the Gibby Pilot and of course, course, the infamous Shrek test animation from 1995. Thank you for watching till the end of this video, and make sure to go follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video, and also, please like the video because it does help out the channel a lot, and go watch my last video about Nickelodeon stars who ruined their careers, which by the way, that video is extremely good, and I talked about a lot of topics that no one really talks about and the video kind of like flopped crazy, which kind of surprised me. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys.